Hey guys, this is Goofer King Science, and I want to show you guys a project that I've been working on for quite a while. I picked up this turbo molecular pump as well as a turbo molecular pump controller for it off of eBay. I've been trying to get them to work. So what's a turbo pump, you ask? Well, it's a type of high vacuum pump, and it requires a roughing pump to reach an initial pressure before it can be switched on. Once the turbo pump is able to be switched on, it can reach ridiculously high vacuums, and it reaches these vacuums at a surprising speed. I'm going to be using this in the future to create a fusor, a type of fusion reactor. So here I'll show you the top of the pump. As you can see, it looks like a jet engine turbine, and it uses this concept to create a high vacuum. This is the roughing pump that I'm using. It's a JB Platinum vacuum pump. It's connected to the turbo pump using a KF flange hose barb adapter. This is the turbo molecular pump drive unit, and it connects to the other side of the pump right there. It's switched on with this power switch on the back right. And when it's switched on, you can see the power and ready lights come on. This means that the pump is ready to go. This switch that I've installed over here on a couple of pinouts is used to start the turbo pump acceleration. This is the part that took me so long to figure out. I couldn't get the pump to start, and I thought that it would automatically switch on when the correct pressure was reached. It took me looking through some circuit diagrams of the controller to find out this is not the case, and I needed to install this switch myself. Well, this video wouldn't be complete without me showing you a run of the pump. The first thing to do is to turn on the roughing pump and the drive unit. Once the correct pressure is reached, I can turn on the acceleration switch. When this is done, you can see the ready light turns off and the acceleration light comes on. Over at the turbo pump, the blades begin to spin. Now, it may look like there's nothing covering the pump right now, but there actually is. There's a sheet of really thick plexiglass, and it's created a very tight seal with the O-ring that's on the top of the pump. This way, I can create a high vacuum, but still see what's going on inside of the pump. I thought I'd just clear up that confusion in case it looked like there was nothing covering the top of the pump. Now, I don't run the pump for very long yet, mainly because I don't think I have quite enough turbo pump oil in it. Once this is filled with oil, I will feel safer running it for longer periods of time. It's very dangerous to run a pump at its top speeds with not enough oil. What can happen is the high-precision bearings will become worn out and they'll basically explode inside the pump. The ball bearings become projectiles and they spin off the walls and they break all the turbines inside. Since I don't want that to happen, I'm just going to stick with really small runs for now until I have it filled with oil. As you can see, I've stopped the acceleration so the acceleration light is blinking and the ready light has come back on and the pump is slowing down. Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. In the future, I'll be running this pump at higher speeds, of course, and reaching some very high vacuums, as well as starting my Fusor project. So stay tuned, I'll see you guys later. Bye.